So right now we definitely got something stinky in this. It's, it's not pleasant. I'm afraid of opening this. Oh my God. Hello and welcome back everyone. A whole bunch of you commented on the previous video I did on these mega gross minis and asked me to open more. So here we are. I finally found them at Target, which made me very happy because they cost half of what I paid for them at Showcase. Now let's put an end to the chatter and embrace the grossness. If this is your first time watching me open the Mega Gross Minis, each ball comes with one of these barf slime bags, a collector's guide, a sticker, this time we got the Sick Talk sticker, and something that looks like a black garbage bag with three pouches inside. And each of these pouches contain one gross mini. Now let's see what we got in here. I already got one of these in the previous video I did. It's the extra gooey trouble gum. And basically this is a gum that is so strong and so sticky, it just pulls out all your teeth. It even says it here on the back. No other bubble gum has the tooth pulling, filling removing, nerve ripping, sticky power of trouble gum extra gooey. These are the Ophelos and we got quite a few of these in the previous videos i don't know seems like they are the popular ones what i meant to say is that they're very common so you might get a lot of those and in here we got the sick tax the maggot flavor sick tax looking very delicious so on the collector's guide this mini comes in two different types there's a regular one and there's one that actually stinks and i think you are supposed to smell it through here i guess i'm gonna give it a try and see if we got the regular one or the smelly one yeah this is definitely the regular one i think the smell of the other one is quite pungent so i don't think there's any second guessing you know For some reason, this one feels a lot heavier than the other one, so maybe we got something cool inside. Of course, you got your usual slime, collector's guide, and sticker. Seems like this time we got a different one. It's the Dead Bull Energy Drink. Yeah, this one feels a lot larger than the other ones. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. This is uh, puke or pukey. <laughs> It's basically Nikes, but yeah. So it says puke or pukey, just spew it. Very nice design. I see there's a little rat over there. Two time rats. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Oh, you get two rats inside. I get it now. And these are the shoes. They look like they've seen better days. It seems like there's some type of goo underneath them. I mean, goo. It's, um, it's puke. It's vomit. There's vomit underneath them. There's probably vomit in this one. And there's a little rat coming out of the second one. Let's see what it says here. Puke gross one. Just spew it. Extremely smelly. And I cannot read the other part. So maybe once I zoom in during editing, you guys are going to be able to read what it says there. There's nothing much on this other side, but I really like the design of the box. All right, another new one. Let's move on and see what else we got. This is one of my favorites from the series. It's the McMaggots McMaggot Burger. We already had a in-depth look of this, so I'm not gonna go through everything again. If you didn't see the previous videos, I suggest you watch them because that's where I also read the labels. I'm not gonna read them again. We're gonna try to save some time here and just, you know, spend more on the minis that actually are new. The only thing I'm noticing is that it looks a little bit different from the previous one. I think that one had a slice of cheese between the patties, whereas this has both slices of cheese up there. Let me check it out. Well, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> this is the one from uh, a previous video, and this is the one we just got now. And yeah, they look pretty much the same. Darn it. I thought I had a very special one. I thought they made a mistake, and it's a very unique one. And once again, we have another container of Sick Tax. Let's see. Nope. Definitely not smelly or stinky. It's just a regular one. Okay. Okay, so right now we definitely got something stinky in this because as soon as I popped open that ball, there was a very strong smell coming out from it. And even now as I'm holding it, it's it's not pleasant. Oh, it's it's very it's very skunky. That's the type of smell I could describe it as. And it's still inside. I mean, it's still inside the bag. And then it's also sealed in one of those paper pouches. I'm afraid of opening this, 
but I guess I'm gonna have to before we get there. Another packet of slime. By the time I'm done with this, I'm gonna have enough slime to fill up a pool or a bathtub. This is the Papa Vomito's pizza sticker and of course a collector's guide. Oh my god. I'm gonna so regret this. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing I'm paranoid now. I feel like even this one smells. Um, this is this is um, this is sewers uh, rat pie oven fresh from the drains of New York. Great. <laughs> Once you try rat, you never go back. I don't know about that. Let's see. Oh boy, there's a lot of writing on this one. Obviously, as you can see, there's a rat coming out of it. And the writing is quite small, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to read it. However, come on. Focus. Focus. It doesn't want to. Maybe I can read it here on the side. Oh yeah. What better way to finish a wonderful dinner than with sewer's hot fresh uh, sewer rat pie, a root canal, extreme sunburn. Okay, don't answer that. I, I don't get that, but we use only the nastiest disease-ridden sewer rats from the drains of New York. But the secret ingredient, no, let me let me redo that. But the secret ingredient, our infamous used toilet paper pulp crust will leave you salivating in the emergency ward for hours. Mm. I mean, how can you not try this, right? Kudos to the marketing department though, because this looks quite good. <laughs> I really hope that the stinky mini is not in here and it's in the other one because I will have to pause the video and probably put it in a Ziploc bag or something. If it stinks like that through the package, I can only imagine once you pull it out, you know? Oh, is it this one? I don't think so. But it does look really gnarly. Like, I think out of all of them, this looks the most disturbing one. It's a classic footlongs rot dog. Real foot flavor. Well, no, duh. You have a real foot in there. Let's see. That classic foot... Oh my god. Yeah, no. So, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory, right? There's a whole foot in here. At least they put some sauce over there. You know, looks like mayo. Oh no, it's the, the foot cheese or something, right? Whatever they call the toe gen... No, not that. Definitely not that. It's the, yeah, classic foot cheese. And then toe jam relish. Best in town. Oh, it might be the toe jam relish. Yeah, who knows? We actually do not want to know. Well, that's funny. Best before 21, 10, 1992. May contain traces of old socks and toe jam. And the non-nutritious facts say toenail clippings, 14%. Toe jam, 97%. Rotting flesh, 187%. They really need to work on the percentages here. <laughs> I'm guessing it's part of the fun, but yeah, as you can see, it doesn't add up. Maggots, 59%. Maggot poop, 159%. And dog drool, 2%. Well, that's new. How did the dog drool get on here? Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is not the stinky one because there's really no strong smell coming off of it. It would have been a good idea to make this the stinky one since, you know, it's a, it's a foot, but uh, yeah, let's open the other one, I guess. Even they, oh my God. Okay, this is bad. This is actually really bad. Even they put it in a seal plastic bag and it still stinks like crazy. Oh God. <coughs> okay, I'm not even, no, I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna open this one. There's no way I'm opening this one, guys. It's gonna stink this whole room. Oh god, that's nasty. <coughs> I'm really sorry.
All right, that's better. <clears throat> um, okay, so I'm gonna make you a deal. If I get another one of these, I think there's two or three types of stinky ones, but if I get another one that stinks in one of these balls, I'm gonna open it. But this one, yeah, it's it's early in the video. I really want to continue filming the video and not, you know, having to pause and just air my entire room and turn off fans and everything. So yeah, trust me, it's bad. If you open these and you got one of them, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I want to do? I did say I'm not going to try to finish this series, but at the same time, I'm really curious to see how many do we have, you know? So let's quickly mark them on this list. Um, yeah, I was debating whether I should go get them, but I think I can remember everything I got. So we do have the super rare moldy mini. We have this one over here. Yeah, we definitely got a stinky one. Uh, we did get a couple of these, but I don't know if they're glow in the dark. So we're going to just mark the regular ones and I can check them out later. We definitely got the dead bull. We got the gum. We got the Starbucks. Tomatoes pizza. Unhappy meal. I forgot what this one was called. I think it was Gasco. Burger. Yep. The sushi. We didn't get this one, but it looks cool. We got the Ufalos. We definitely got the Pukey, Sick Talk. And this is the MacBook, but it's, I think, Ipu or something like that. We got this coin here. We got the Tarantula. We definitely got the Bug King, the Pokey Poo or something like that. Uh, we just got this one. And we have this one. We got the Rat Pie. We got quite a few, right? I mean, we don't need a lot to complete this series, but I don't know. You guys really, really want me to complete this series and to open more. They're starting to grow on me a little bit, but I don't know. These are the Pickers. We got the Sick Tacks, Rat Milk. And see, this is the one I was telling you about. We have this and we have this, but I don't know if they are rare or not. I didn't check them if they glow. And then we also got the Bancho Poo Loons. You know what else I noticed? Let me show you. There are a few minis on this collector's guide that have that, you know, green glowing cockroach symbol. I mean, I gave it a second look and it seems like there's just two. So it's this one over here, it says rough stuff. And then this one over here. So if you go down to the end of the collector's guide, well, not that low. The cockroach means that there's going to be a collector's case. See, it says collector's case exclusive. I'm looking forward to see when that's going to be released and if all of these minis will actually fit in the collector's case, which they might. I mean, it's 36 minis. Usually when it's a collection that's smaller like this, the collector's case will probably fit all of them. If I remember correctly, there was a gold rush. I don't know if it was, I think it was toys, right? Toy mini brands gold rush. And those also came with the collector's case and it was a smaller collection and all of them actually fit in the collector's case, which is great. That's what they should do for all the series, you know? I mean, even if it costs a little more, like some people are willing to pay so that, you know, their entire collection will actually be nicely displayed in one place. I mean, if they went the distance and they spent so much money to complete a series, which we know it's not cheap to complete a mini brand series, I think they will pay a little more to get a big collector's case and have all of them in there. But anyway, let's move on and open more of these. No, I'm getting paranoid. I'm just smelling the ball to make sure there's not another stinky one in here. Okay, the slime collector's guide. And we got a new sticker. This is the extra gooey. This is from the gum. Remember that, you know, first mini we got in this video. All right, we got another Papa Vomitos pizza. Delicious, isn't it? Again, I did give them a shout out in a previous video when I got this, but I'm pretty sure Red and Link from Good Mythical Morning would actually try this if they didn't already. Like I said, we already had a in-depth look at this particular mini. So if you want to see everything that's on the back here, you should go check out the previous videos. Well, what do you know? Another foot. You know what? I'm curious. Is it left and right? No. So it's just the left foot. Okay. Look at that cute little guy poking out of there. Really, really disgusting. I don't even know how you eat this. I mean, there's bones and stuff and things, you know? I don't even know why I'm going on that tangent, why I'm trying to justify how are you supposed to eat something like this. But yeah, let's uh, move on. Oh, would you look at that? We got a new one. Ooh, this looks really slick. I mean, look at the details on this thing. 
Oh, wow, that was a nice surprise. I turned it by mistake. I didn't realize they actually did something here as well. We got a couple cockroaches there that obviously are squished by the way it looks. And then we got the logo right here. Is that a centipede? No, it's a worm. We got a fly there. Yeah, this one definitely takes first place in my rank of favorite minis from this series. All right, let's get that collector's guide and put a check mark next to it. You already know the story, slime, collector's guide, and a sticker. Seems like we got the same sticker. I think moving forward, if we don't get anything new, I'm just not gonna say that anymore. We're just gonna get straight to these. Here's the unhappy meal. We already have one of these. I noticed something in the previous days when I looked at the ones I already got. It's so obvious right now, but the unhappy meal has an unhappy face. Like this is the mouth. These are the eyes. I don't know why, but for some reason I did not notice this until recently. And I was like, oh, okay, that looks like a like a very sad face. Well, it's just a packet of buffaloes. We have so, so many and we definitely do not need more. Okay, this is another mini that we have. It's the Star Barf Coffee. As you can see, it's very barfy. <laughs> Right, so we got a new sticker. Uh, this is called the Scumballs Soup. <laughs> this one is actually funny. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. I just noticed they have peepholes. You think it's just to get the air out so it doesn't, when they put it in there, if, if there's air in it, you know, obviously they're gonna be a lot harder to get them in the balls. Maybe, right? Right, another foot long rot dog looking as delicious as always. Very, very consistent. Okay, this is something new. Now we have a meal. Look at this, guys. We have a complete meal. Now, isn't that just wonderful? As they say, I'm grubbing it. <laughs> okay, enough with the shenanigans. These are the McMaggots fries. It says maggots there in parenthesis. Nothing brings a frown to a face more than McMaggots unhappy meal. Open up the box. That smell of freshly microwaved puke hits you in the face. The flies, the slop, and the surprise toy broken toy. That's the McMaggots unhappiness magic. Wait, isn't that the same thing that they put on the unhappy meal? Nothing brings you. Yeah. Oh come on, guys. These are the fries. You should put something else on it. That's a little bit disappointing. But from a miniature standpoint, it actually looks really good. You know, they make the fries kind of like old and a little bit moldy. Very, very nice mini. I hope they're going to have something similar to be part of the foodie mini brands, you know, the series two. Anyway, let's mark this one as found. These are like Snickers, but they're pickers. And I guess you can see why. We already have this one, so we're not going to spend any more time on it. Let's move on to the next. Seems like we got a new sticker. This is the Gasco brand hot sauce. And finally, we can read what it says over there. Hotter than Satan's toenails. We got another shoe. Yes, we do. Here's another shoe. Is it left and right? Of course not. Where do they always go with the left hand or left foot? This one is the same, see? It's the left. But anyway, we got another snot verse, all nasty. Really clever. But anyway, this mini is really, really nice. Well, the bottom part of this one actually looks better than the previous one. This one is a tad bit faded and this one is so nicely colored. Nice contrast there. I'm not mad about getting a duplicate of this at all. <laughs> well, what do you know? We got another new one. This is the scumball soup. <laughs> Um, right off the bat, this is very disgusting. It's cream of pimple pus. As you can see, the entire soup is, yeah, pimples and scumballs cream of pimple pus is freshly squeezed and drained into every can for your enjoyment. We select the finest juiciest pimples and cysts full of creamy yellow thick pus with a hint of cracked pepper that's why people pick scum balls so for the non-nutritional info we have pus cyst juice sweat pimple cream pepper and facial hair because why not 
disgusting. I do like, however, the way they made this. It's really nicely bent. It actually looks very realistic. See from this angle, the way the light hits it, that looks real. It looks like it's actual metal. All right, well, let's uh, mark this one as found and then we're gonna move on. Nothing special in here. We just got a packet of Ophelos, or should I say another packet of Ophelos. All right, so we're gonna take a little break because I have a couple of pieces of mail that I got from you guys, and I'm really, really curious to see what's inside of them. And here they are. One comes from Trisha, the other one comes from Rachel. So I think I got the one from Trisha first, which means we're gonna open this one first. All right, I might just cut part of the previous segment because there's an address here and I do not want to show that. It says to GBK Golden Boy from um, Kayla. Kayla and I thought it's from Trisha. Either way, very, very nice design over here. Okay, it was definitely Hala and she's nine years old. It says, Dear GB, I love your videos. They're so cool. I like you because you don't talk a lot like all the other YouTubers before unboxing something. Hela, trust me, I do talk a lot sometimes. It's just that during editing, I'm just cutting all those parts out because I do know that some of you guys or most of you guys just want me to get straight to the minis and open them and, you know, for us to get to see exactly what's inside and start collecting and start, you know, marking things on the list as found and all that. So yeah, I'm glad you noticed that. P.S. You will get three things. And look at that nice drawing of my logo. That looks really cool. And there's a question here. What is your favorite food? This is my favorite food. Cheeseburgers. You like cheeseburgers? Let me know in the comments. Well, thank you so much for the letter, Hela. I really appreciate it. So here are the three things I got from Hela. This is a caramel chocolate, and I guess she already knows that I'm really, really into chocolate. See, a real fan always knows. Obviously, you guys already know that I cannot stay away from chocolate, so. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Got it all on my fingers, too. All right, all done. Thank you so much, Hela. Really appreciate it. That's a really good piece of chocolate. Let's see what else we got in here. Handmade loom bracelet made by me in five minutes. Ooh, that is fast. I'm guessing you had a lot of practice with these, haven't you? I guess you went for gold, right? This is a gold bracelet. And guess what? I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna wear it for the next, I mean, not for the next, for the rest of the video. How about that? Look how cool that looks, huh? And then on this one it says mini brands, toy plus foodie. She sent me a foodie mini brands collector's guide. And then the two minis I got from Hala are, let's see, ready to roll Blaze Speedway and... Did you put something in there? No. Yeah, the sound that it made was a little bit different than usual. I thought you put something in there. And then here is a drink from Subway. Thank you so, so much, Hela. I really appreciate it. I do hope that you are watching this video and you were able to see this. I know I got your package a while ago, but I just got to open it today. Now, let's see what we got from Rachel. Let's start with the letter first. All right, the letter says, Dear GB Colleen, Hi, my name is Rachel. I am a big fan of yours. I don't know what to say because it's my first time doing this because you are my first time uh, sending a fan letter to. I have a video idea for you if you don't mind. You could do, I know you done this in the past, but you could do is letting series 4 pick what you eat for a day. But every non-food mini you get, that's a free pass to get whatever you want. <laughs> It could be anything. I hope you like the idea for a video. I actually do like the idea, Rachel. Thank you. And then it says, uh, love your fan, Rachel. P.S. Hope you enjoy the art I made you and the free gifts. Thank you, Rachel, for taking the time to write me. I really appreciate it. Oh, there's a couple stickers in here, but we'll get to that in a bit. Oh, that looks cool. I really like how you sign your name. That looks so cool and unique. And also in the same envelope, I got two stickers. This is a butterfly and a smiley face with the, with the halo. And then it seems like I also got a ring from Rachel. 
It's a very shiny silvery ring and obviously it stays there for the rest of the video. Thank you so much Rachel and Hala for sending me these. I really really appreciate it and if there's anyone else out there that wants to send me something you can find my PO box address in the description of every single video. Now let's open these last three balls and see if we get something new inside. Seems like we got a new sticker. This is the McCavity's Poop Paste. Darkens and stains. We got another one of those coins with slime or puke or boogers or whatever. <laughs> whatever this thing is on top of it. Here's another extra gooey trouble gum. And another one of my favorite minis from this series. We got the Webster's Free Range Tarantula Eggs. I don't know, I don't like spiders, but this one looks really good. Just like with the Ophelos, it seems like the extra gooey trouble gum is very, very common. Yeah, I got quite a few of these. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I really, really wanted to get this. This is the, I mean, it's probably because I really, really love Doritos. They're called the Goritos. As you can see, yeah, these are, I don't know, amputated sliced toes. Goritos, toe cheese supreme. Oh, so, okay. I added that in there again. Includes traces of zombie feet. What does it say here? Contains real infected tone. Oh boy. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to try to read it without stopping again. Like I usually do because it sounds so disgusting. Contains real infected toenails. May contain a toe tag. Oh boy, that's getting that's getting creepy. All right, I need this camera to actually focus properly, so I'm gonna try to hold it like this. So gory toes are the not so perfect party snack. Real toasted toes smothered in grandma's secret feet cheese sauce. Load them up with your favorite toppings like extra sour cream and freshly clipped toenails for extra gory toes goodness oh i can't believe i got through that it's so difficult to read because it's so tiny and it's just my eyes if i bring it up to my eyes like this i can read it perfectly maybe that's what i should do but through the camera it keeps like focusing defocusing focusing again defocusing i don't even know if defocusing is the proper word for that but let's see what the non-nutritious facts are toe jam toe cheese tinea what is that tinea tinea anyway Band-Aids, foot fungus, blister skin. Oof. May contain traces of a uh, sweaty sock. Okay, as a mini, except the fact that it's very, very disgusting, it looks really good. Here's the thing I was just wondering. Do you think mini brands reached out to these uh, companies, you know, to get contracts with them to actually have miniature, you know, regular mini brands of their products and they said no, or maybe they just countered with a very bad offer. So then mini brands created this new series, the Mega Gross Minis, and probably they can make these as parodies. They may not need their, you know, consent since it's not the exact product. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyway, pretty cool mini. Definitely up there in the top with my favorites. Let's mark it on the list. Where is it? There it is. Where's my marker? So we're going to mark it. And then we're going to move on and see what else we got. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm having like, yeah, back flashes to that thing over there you don't need to put your nose here to smell it you don't i thought it's just like a faint type of smell you know like it barely smells like something disgusting but no i mean this is sealed and i could still smell it so oh see i'm getting all shaky just thinking about it <laughs> these are the sick tacks maggot flavored sick tacks Here's another new sticker. This one says rough stuff. I'm not really sure what brand it actually is and what they're trying to imitate, but maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. Kind of running out of space here. We got the sick talk. I did get this in one of the shorts I did. There's nothing much to it. It's just this, you know, disgusting goo that kind of like acts as a phone holder. It's quite detailed, even though it's a very simple mini to make, I guess compared to other ones. Oh, not this again. The Gasco Hot Sauce. I really don't like this mini, to be honest. And another one of those um, 
stinky dollar coins, I guess, because it's S. Maybe that's what it stands for. Stinky. Who knows? All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it and discovering new gross minis. I'm not even going to talk too much about this. I know you guys really, really wanted me to probably open it, but yeah. Maybe if I open more of these and I get another one, then I'm going to open them. Or maybe if this video gets a certain number of likes, I might do it. Not sure what that number should be. But anyway, I'm pretty sure one day I will open that and I will make sure to record a video for you. How about that? Sounds good. Or if you guys have ideas of how and in what circumstances I should open it, let me know in the comments and I'm going to go through everything and maybe I'm going to choose one. But anyway, thank you so much for liking, commenting and subscribing. As usual, you guys stay golden and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.